everyone. Hey everybody, this is Cajun Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Mixmaster Anonymous Remailing Software. Mixmaster is a piece of software that allows anyone to send completely anonymous and untraceable email to anyone on the internet. Um, it is provably untraceable. It routes it through a number of different hops, kind of like Tor does, if you've heard of that. Um, and it makes it makes really uh, speaking your mind uh, feasible it means that nobody can trace it back to you. your employer can't trace it back to you the police can't trace it back to you the government can't trace it back to you and it makes it a really great tool for people who are reporting abuse um, maybe whistleblowers that type thing this is the Mixmaster um, Wikipedia page if you want to find out more it's just uh, you know look up Mixmaster and you'll be able to find it now we're going to be installing Mixmaster on Ubuntu 1204, but the process is exactly the same. Um, if you're installing it on any um, any Ubuntu dis based distribution from 1204 forward, um, it, it it hasn't really changed. And there's there's a package that you can just app get install, and you're good to go. Um, in particular, one of the things that I want to say is that if you don't have Postfix or another um, SMTP server installed on your system, uh, Mixmaster will pull that down. Now, in my case, this is a clean desktop system. I don't have um, any kind of uh, SMTP server installed on it, so it will pull down Postfix. And I wanted to do that because most people aren't going to have that. If you just start like a clean server, uh, you may not have, you know, uh, 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 send a mail or Postfix um, installed, and, and you need to know how to configure that to work with Mixmaster. Incidentally, I do suggest um, that you install Mixmaster on um, a clean system. In other words, install it on a clean VM or a clean VPS, or if you're going to run it on a hard on a piece of hardware in your living room, install it on a clean uh, clean system. There, it just makes it easier and, and, and just easier to set up. Um, I also should point out that there are two components to the Mixmaster system. There is what I call the Mixmaster server, which actually interacts with Postfix to grab mail and process mail and deliver mail and all of that. And then there's the Mixmaster client, which is a um, which is a terminal-based client that allows you uh, to send anonymous email. So it's 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 easier that way. But we're not going to deal with the client at all. We're going to specifically set up a remailer so that you can run a remailer. Um, it's actually pretty easy. Um, it's as easy as uh, typing sudo app git install mixmaster. And like I said, in my case, since I don't have um, postfix or sendmail installed, it's actually going to pull in both mixmaster and sendmail. Um, and it's a pretty quick process. So as you can see here, um, we have the send uh, postfix uh, configuration uh, screen. We've got several options here. Uh, the first is no configuration, internet site, internet with smart host, satellite system, local only. Since we are wanting to interact with the internet, but we're not going to use smart host, we're just going to use internet site. And then we have to give our uh, site a mail name. Uh, let's say, for example, you're going to run your emailer as, you know, jeremy.com. You're going to put jeremy.com here. In this case, because we're just setting up example, we're going to use example.com, but you're going to use your actual mail name. So uh, you need, it needs to be a fully qualified domain name. So you can't just put like your host name. Like for example, my host name is Isis. I can't put just Isis. I have to put a fully qualified domain name. And that fully qualified domain name could be, you know, uh, remailer.example.com or just example.com or whatever you're using as your domain name. But we're going to keep example.com here just to make things easy. And that's it. That's the only setup that we need to actually do to Postfix. It's really that simple. Um, as you can see, Apt is going to go about installing uh, Postfix and installing Mixmaster. It's going to put the configuration files where it needs to put them. And by the time that I'm done with probably this little spiel here, it's going to be done. Um, you can see it's doing uh, everything that it needs to do. We don't have to touch anything, and it's done. Now, uh, we now have a working, well, an almost working remailer. We have a working SMTP server, and we just have to do a little bit of configuration to Mixmaster to make it work. Mixmaster stores all of its files in a directory called Etsy Mixmaster. Pretty simple, right? That's where most programs actually store a lot of their configuration files. Um, and we're going to want a specific file called remailer.conf. So let's go ahead and get that. Let's do cd Etsy Mixmaster. We're going to list stuff. There's remailer.conf. And so we're going to bring up, let's go ahead and bring it up. 
Uh, let's see. If I could actually type it right, it would help, wouldn't it? All right. This is the main configuration file for Mixmaster. Now, ordinarily, setting up a remailer is literally a two-minute job. We're going to take a little bit more time because we're going to go into um, some of the uh, some of the, the the options in detail. Um, but I'm going to try not to spend too much time because you really don't have to. Um, let's start here with the send mail line. A lot of people get tripped up on this very first line. There is a program, uh, an SMTP server called SendMail. That is not what this line is talking about. Postfix also has a send mail command. It is actually what sends mail. Um, and in this case, that is in user sbin send mail. This line will work correctly as is without being changed. Leave it alone. This line will work correctly as is. In fact, all of these lines pretty much will. We won't really need to change anything until we get to here, where it says remail. Now, of course you want your remailer to remail, correct? So you're going to change that to yes. That enables your remailer to remail. The next line, middleman. This is kind of an important this is kind of an important thing that bears some thought. A middleman remailer is a type of remailer that doesn't accept mail from a user and doesn't deliver mail to a user. Now, why would you want to do that? Because in some countries, the law really doesn't understand why that bomb threat to the president or that bomb threat to the police or a politician or a murder threat to someone came from your IP address and yet you're saying, I didn't send it. And all of the explanations about, well, I run a remailer, um, you know, it's, it's somebody else, I have no way to trace it, won't really get you out of handcuffs. And so in cases like that, you don't want to run a regular remailer. You want to run a middleman. Um, a regular remailer will accept mail from the outside world and even deliver mail to the outside world. That means that I could send a piece of mail to your remailer to be delivered by your remailer, and it wouldn't be traceable to me, but it would be traceable to you. In the United States, this has pretty much been litigated, and it's kind of accepted that, you know, the law understands that and, and remailer operators are pretty immune to being prosecuted. Um, but in some other countries, that's not the case. So if you're a little bit concerned, I would suggest that you set middleman to yes. Um, in our case, we're not going to do that because we want to set up just a regular remailer. Um, but keep that in mind whenever you're setting it up. Your passphrase. Your passphrase is going to be used to protect your remailer's private key. Set this to anything you want. If you are running this on a VPS, this is a special note because somebody in uh, one of the Usenet groups pointed this out to me. Let's be honest. If this is being run on a VPS or a system that is not within your control, this passphrase largely doesn't matter because a policing agency, the government, could confiscate the computer, get a snapshot of the v VPS, do whatever. They've got your private key. They've got your passphrase. If you are running this on a server in your house, are completely under your control, this is really important. But either way, treat it as important and just put a password. I like to do just some random junk and then log it later. And so that's my password for my private key. Nobody's going to guess that. Your bin filter, auto block, all of that. Um, let me go ahead and say what auto block is. Auto block allows people to um, add themselves to the remailer's block list. So let's say, for example, that they don't want to receive any mail coming from your remailer. They can actually add their email address to Autoblock and your remailer won't deliver messages to them anymore. It's that simple. So that really is a great um, way to deal with abuse. Somebody says, hey, somebody's sending me threatening messages. You simply say, hey, add yourself to the Autoblock list and you're good to go. Um, all of this can be left alone until we get to remailer name and address. This is important. Your remailer address. Your remailer address should be something that is um, memorable. Now, by default, Mixmaster on Ubuntu sets up a user called Mixmaster on your system. So in this case, the in, in our case where we had our system called example.com, our remailer address will be Mixmaster at example.com. If you set this up and yours is jeremy.com, yours would be mixmaster at jeremy.com. But it doesn't have to be. You can, you can change that user if you want. The anon address um, is going to be the address that the mail appears to come from. Uh, this could be anything. Please don't abuse this, folks. I know people who set it to... Um, who set it to, you know, somebody's address like president at whitehouse.gov and stuff like that. Let's be adult about it, right? Let's set it to something that's reasonable. I personally like to set it to the remailer address. 
uh, because that way when they reply they get an auto reply that includes how to block themselves and all that so uh, I'm gonna set it to mixmaster at example.com complaints um, complaints is actually kind of a touchy subject within the community some people like to route complaints to dev null which means they will never ever see a complaint and that's completely okay um, I personally like to take a more responsible attitude and I've actually set up an email address or an email alias um, called abuse and um, I actually do read complaints so however you handle it you can put dev null here um, you can put a real email address I would suggest you actually handle complaints it doesn't take up a lot of your time um, and it's just a, a way to be a good member of the community so in this case let's just do abuse at example dot com okay the short name let's say for example your remailer name is the Jeremy the Jeremy remailer um, what you're going to do is you may just call this Jeremy pretty easy right and then your remailer name this is going to be the name the actual full name of your remailer uh, let's make this lowercase just for the convention and your remailer name is going to be let's see and anonymous okay so here's a lot of discussion for your non name this is the name that is going to come um, that is that that's going to look like this is the name of the email that's going to come to the person um, a lot of people leave this as anonymous and so whenever somebody receives a piece of mail from your uh, from your remailer they see anonymous in the in the from field I think this is horrible, right? Because who's going to open a piece of email from anonymous? I mean, really. I and mean, I'm not talking about the political group. I'm talking about just anonymous, right? It looks like spam. I always suggest that you put an actual name there. Uh, for example, I run the Oklahoma remailer. And the Oklahoma remailer appears to be from Jack Ryan um, anytime somebody gets mail from it. Um, now, of course, some people will go, oh, well, I know who Jack Ryan is. I know it's a hoax, so I'm not going to use it. But, you know, it looks like a real name, and so people are more likely to read it. Um, so whatever name you put, you know, you can put anonymous, you can put the Jeremy Remailer, or whatever your, your Remailer name is, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but, uh, you know, put something other than anonymous here is my, my suggestion. I mean, there's nothing really wrong uh, with putting anonymous, but it just lessens the chance that your your email your remailer's mail will be opened and you know really what's the point of running a remailer if the mail that comes from it's never open so I'm gonna call mine let's say David Cook so that means that any piece of email uh, that comes from my remailer will come from David Cook now we're gonna go into supported formats um, here um, you do want to support mix obviously um, do you want to support PGP this basically means that someone can um, encrypt a piece of mail to your remailer, mail it to your remailer, your remailer will decrypt it and use it. It's that simple. It's an added level of security. The current level of Mixmaster only supports 1024-bit keys, but I think it's a nice little thing, so I would set that to yes. I would also leave Mix as yes. Unencrypted. There's a lot of debate about this too. Some remailers simply will not accept mail that's unencrypted. I think it's horrible. I think that it, it's, it's lessening the amount of people who will actually use remailers. Um, and so I like to set it to yes. That way people can just send plain text email to your remailer and it'll be, uh, it'll be, it'll be sent. You can leave this maximum message size in kilobytes alone. Use Net News. This will allow your users to post to Usenet. Now, for those of you who don't know what Usenet is, look it up. It's an old-style kind of message thing. It's before web forums and stuff like that, but it's still in pretty heavy use. Um, if you do decide to let your users post through Usenet, this address, mail to news at nim.alias.net, is no longer valid. It doesn't work. There are three mail to news gateways out there. There's DISM, there's Big, Big Apple Remailer, and there's Mixmin. You can put all three separated by commas. I will just put Mixmin here since that's the one I actually remember. Um, at, let's see, uh, I think it's mail to news at Mixmin.net. All right, so um, next thing is uh, you can leave this, you can leave this. The pool size. Um, the pool size basically says how many messages need to be queued up before the, me the the remailer tries to start sending messages now 
the way it works is that a remailer will stagger message delivery to kind of confuse traffic analysis, right? So it's not that a piece of mail goes in and then a piece of mail goes out. A piece of mail goes in and might be held for an arbitrary amount of time um, and then will go out. Your pool size says don't even send any mail until we have at least 25 messages in queue. And then whenever we have 25 messages in queue, only send 25% of those messages randomly. So it will choose 25% of the 25 messages in queue and ran, it'll randomly choose them and send them out. This is an okay, this is really okay. It, it could mean that you're going to um, have long delays with mail being delivered. So I like to bring this up to like 45, um, but 25 is fine if you, if you don't mind uh, some delays in your, in your, in your mail. Uh, let's look down here. And I think we are done, folks. Okay, so Mixmaster is now configured and ready. We can um, we can write this out. We can exit, and then all you have to do you su Mixmaster, and uh, of course you'll need to, well you'll need to set a password for Mixmaster before you can uh, su to it. But you know how to do that, I'm sure. Set a password, su to it, and then uh, just type uh, Mixmaster. And it will start the uh, it will start the daemon, and it will oh, I'm sorry type service start our service start mixmaster that will start the daemon, and it will be running on your system, and you're good to go. You have a remailer now. That's it. That's as simple as it is to set up mixmaster. It literally can be done in three you know three to five minutes, and you can have a remailer and contribute to the community. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, get in touch with me. I know this is kind of a rough tutorial. I'm not really going by a script here. I'm just kind of kind of doing it and putting it out there for the community. But if you have any questions, send me an email. Um, my email address, of course, um, is going to be at the end of this video. Uh, and uh, all my contact information will be at the end of the video. And uh, we're good to go. Thanks a lot for watching.